And so when people talk about how there's a lot of fluctuation in the value, it's because cryptocurrencies don't have to have any actual asset backing behind them. But if you have a CBDC, it has to be backed by some kind of physical asset. And that's how you know they're going to be worth value in the future. So I'm going to go over the three kinds of CBDCs really quickly. You can really break it down into major types. One is for banks and institutions, and one is for everything else, right? Peer-to-peer -peer transfer, retail payments, buying your groceries, going to restaurants, buying your new you know, outfit. So in the future, because of something called programmable assets, which we'll get into later, you can actually program your CBDC to flow directly through no matter if it's institutional or a retail coin.